as we have seen in the videos before, there's a point called testing. We didn't do that much with that, but now let's start to take a closer look to that. As usually, we start with a simple system and everything works. Great. Let's take some different kind of data. In this case, we take the timestamp data, lines, go to testing, short plot in new window, and ugh, these ugly numbers. Easy to change. We only have to go to X axis and change the mode. Since the system doesn't know uh, all the options which are available, we have to tell the system that this is a swing. I will find a better way for that. No. But for now we have to go this way. And go to testing and show plot in new window and nothing happens. There must be something wrong. Let's take a look to the data. So we check the options and the data and we get two. First of all this one which shows there's something going wrong. Let's close it and we get the information that the jQuery float time is missing. Oh, the plugin for time. Yes, there was a change some time ago. This is not a part automatically anymore. But now that we selected this, we go to testing. Well, we, I think we don't need this anymore. And we get it. So in this case, float based on a few, only a few options and checks uh, gave us some information on what we could do to make it possible to work. If you want to work with this a little bit more, Fiddle, JS Fiddle, is a beautiful tool for that. And this is a way how you copy all of the things that you have to JS Fiddle. The reason why we have to wait now is my slow connection. Here it is. System will be running and get this back. Great, that's it for the testing part.